What a glittering assemblage, King Stefan. Royalty, nobility, the gentry, and... <laughs> How quaint. Even the rebels. I must say, I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You're not welcome here. <laughs> oh dear, what an awkward situation. So, did you hear that uh, Gareth Edwards, whoever that is, the director of Book of Eli? I never saw that movie. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay. Um, Still he's, never saw it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Um, he's directing the new standalone Star Wars movie coming out on December 2016. Really? Yeah. Yes. They're doing the trilogy, then they have seven, eight, nine, plus they're doing standalone movies as well. That's really strange. It is. Why are they doing standalone movies? They want more money. <laughs> they just want more life. Yeah, I mean, the rumor has it they're going to do like more like Han Solo or Boba Fett, um, but no one knows for sure what they're going to be doing yet. I'm hoping first to a Yoda film. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> that would like, be awesome. Yoda when he was younger, like you know, he's not here years old and Han strikes back, so he's. Does he matter when he was younger? He, he might. I mean, you know, because the last Sith were around like supposedly like a thousand years before, so mm -hmm. the fact that I mean, he's a bit too young for the last Sith battle. But he could have been like near the founding of the New Republic. Yeah. So the Old Republic, he could have been around for that and, you know, hope to duke out, you know. They should make a Chewbacca movie. Just roaring. <laughs> just sort of roaring. Like the, sort of the it's just really good. Just, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, two hours of roaring. <laughs> with John Williams music in the background. Why don't you just troll it and just make a Jar Jar movie? <laughs> There you go. Just make an entire Jar Jar movie. <laughs> you know, just to anger the audience. Yeah, I just, yeah. If I was Disney, what I would do, we have like a teaser trailer of just Jar Jar Binks. Like for episode seven. Oh, you know? yeah. This is like an old Jar Jar. You know, a geriatric Jar Jar, who's just like in a walker, and she's falling down. Then you teaser just, for episode uh, seven. You know? And he just comes, he goes, Did you know I knew your grandfather? <laughs> He was a <laughs> But Anyway, so, welcome to Movie I'm Chad. I'm Chris. And we saw Maleficent. Yes, we did. Both and of us. Both of us, together. Yes. Both of us. Not separately, together. In the same theater. In the same theater. We sat next to each other, we too, did. when we talked. Um, That's and, all we did. We yeah. Did just watched the movie. Yeah, we, we didn't watch it. Um, but, wow. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Um, I was definitely surprised rise with this movie. The whole entire movie starts out with Maleficent played by Angelina Jolie mm -hmm. and she is being Maleficent. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, it starts off with her as a kid, so a bit, a bit of her backstory, not a huge backstory, and works its way through the whole story of Sleeping Beauty told from a different perspective. Yeah. And um, it, for, for what I was expecting when I went in, it blew me away. I was not prepared for that level of story at Yeah, all. I agree. I don't think that this movie... I was... I, I will agree. Mm -hmm. This movie really, really surprised. I think a lot of people, if you go see it, I think a lot of people will be surprised. Yeah. Because you get this whole backstory of her being Maleficent. Now, you think at first, when you remember the... If you do remember the original Disney cartoon... Or, uh, I'm sorry, animated movie... Mm -hmm. It was Maleficent was the bad guy. Right. But at this point, you're actually more so, believe it or not, it's not one of those films that I really don't like well, mm -hmm. when we were talking about it. It was the whole analogy of, feel bad for me because I'm a villain. Right. Like Kind of like the Avengers analogy I always come up with. Yeah. Loki is this villain who you feel sorry for. Right. And in this movie, it's... She has every right to you do everything. Don't feel sorry for her. You're rooting for her. The entire, you're definitely on Team Maleficent. You are, the entire it's time. Like, get out, get out. The villain in the movie is really surprising, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not really going to spoil it too much, but you kind of get the idea in the trailer. Yeah. But you really learn that the villain doesn't have any gain the entire time. No, the villain's an idiot. He is. He's an <laughs> idiot. I mean, he doesn't have any gain to actually be... You, know, you you sit there and you have him say, well, 
I don't like fairies. Mm -hmm. Why? What did they do to you? Yeah, the fairies, they're in their little fairy land, and all they do is they throw you know, like mud ball fights, <laughs> and they play in the water, and they watch flowers bloom, and, and they're happy. And they're it's happy. They they're happy singing songs. Yeah. And then this not paying taxes. I, I guess so. That's what it These is. fairies so. just don't pay taxes. And my, I guess my thing was, though, is that like I was saying, he doesn't have a game. Mm -hmm. Like, he is, he's so, well, I'm betraying you because you don't belong. Why? Like, not even that entire time frame, you were with her, her almost her entire life. Right. And all of a sudden, it's, well, he was tempted by the human world. By what? Yeah, what temptations are What temptations are, temptations are they don't really explain. I guess aside from, you know, power. Yeah. But even then, when you compare what his other option was, it's like, okay, you can have this power, or you can just be here and have no power, but in a sense, have power, because you don't need power. Right. I mean, as weird as that is, it's like, you know, was to trying to take over the world, or just be part of it, no one cares, they're all living in you know, peace, love, harmony. It's, it's not one of those things where you're really thinking, like, wow, you're kind of a jerk. And that's the thing I really like about this movie. Maleficent is likable. Yeah, the She's, entire way through. Yeah, I mean, granted... I can say, though, that a lot of it isn't very, like, the villain isn't very logical in right. their thinking and everything, but Maleficent, everything that she does, it's like, no, you have every right. Yeah. You want to put a curse on that baby? You have every right. Yeah. And he's over here saying, you are crazy. You don't belong. Nobody likes you. Why? What did she do to you? Right. What did she, she nice, do? She I was guess. nice to you. Yeah. She was she nice. She slapped like, like, it's like hey. <laughs> You know, it's, like, hey. it's like, here, Chris, here's some rounds. Yeah, jerk. You are insane. Yeah. I don't like you. You don't belong. That's yeah, the kind of analogy that's how it was. they have. It was, yeah. But Maleficent, though, she was awesome. And honestly, Angelina Jolie was the perfect person for Maleficent. I don't she care if really you like was. her or not as an actress. In this movie, I can't think of a single other actress out there today who would to could fill that role. I mean, because there's a lot of times when she'll just look at someone and just the look at her eyes, it just says volumes. I mean, oh, yeah. she is perfect for that role. And she's having fun. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the cool thing about it, too, is just her eye, her eyes and everything, when you're looking at her, I mean, there was that scene with her and baby Aurora mm -hmm. where she looks through the window and the baby's yeah. just smiling up at her. <laughs> she just looks down and goes, I hate you. <laughs> and the baby's just still looking up, smiling at her. And mm -hmm. you just see her eyes, like, she is trying not trying to, trying hate, her. to hate her. Yeah. And it's really cool. I think this is, and, I, and I'm going to be right out, I don't like Angela Jolie. Not as a person. Right. I think she's, she's a, a great person. person. I think mm -hmm. she does a lot for the world. Her acting, though, and a lot of people like her, mm -hmm. she plays the same role in every movie. She does. So a very quiet, tough, it's almost like a, it was like a Bruce Wayne, not Bruce Wayne, Bruce Willis. Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne she's yes. Bruce Wayne. She's, she's Batman. She's Batman the entire time. Sounds like a Bruce Willis, a Dirty Harry kind of guy. Yeah. In a female form most right. of the time. You know, they don't just don't say anything, just go kill someone or kick their butt and then move on to the next guy. Which I don't understand why anybody likes salt. Like, that was the thing. No, people like salt. It's a whole different thing. I know thing. it's a whole different thing, though. But I mean, a whole different discussion. I know. I know. It was kind but, of good in some ways and kind of, but anyhow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, it was just, it was Angelina Jolie showed a lot of emotion, and you mm -hmm. just knew she was having a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, it didn't even matter. Aurora was only had maybe about, what, each of her years maybe only had about 10 minutes of screen time. Mm -hmm. Prince Phil uh, the older, only had like five minutes. Yeah, the older Aurora had more like half an hour. Half an so. hour screen time. The fairy godparents, they really didn't focus on too much, which was fine. I yeah, mean, they really, were there for comic relief in the background on occasion. Yeah, and it, that was fine. You really, because you already had, if you were familiar with, again, the actual cartoon animated version, they're in there a lot more. Mm -hmm. So you really, it's kind of a relief where they didn't try to focus on the actual, you know, animated version. Right. Which makes a lot of sense to me now mm -hmm. because that ending oh, is really surprising. Yeah. That's it's the fantastic. one thing I will definitely say really blew me away because I was like, really? Mm -hmm. You're going that route? Yeah. And I'm not going to spoil that, but go see that. Yeah. Just for, even just for the ending. If you don't like the rest of the movie, which I will... I will say the movie did lack, I think, a lot of that happiness. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, though, it was so likable in that sense. Yeah. So. I mean, it kind of ends, not like in, you know, scene for scene, but sort of the way that um, 
tangled ends. Uh, just sort of like you assume it's going to be half the day of right after things like that, too. I mean, they're already finalizing anything. There's right. no ultimate conclusion for the story. But like you sort of know it's going to be okay now. Yeah, you and know? it's kind of like the villain. Like, they yeah. are, you know, they want this power. It doesn't really explain why they want the power. Right, they, they just, just want, want it. it. I mean, granted, I know Tangle, it's, well, it makes her immortal. Yeah, but what else? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, after that, what if it happens if you get bored? Right. And that's, like, that's the <laughs> thought process. What if you get bored being king? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's also the whole logical thing of, well, you are, first off, she's an all-powerful being. Mm-hmm. That's what really bothers me, and this kind of goes back to the Spider-Man review we did, mm-hmm. too, is she's not doing anything. Right. What is the purpose of attacking her? Right, well, all she does, literally, is flies around, heals plants, says, you know, good morning to other fairy folk, and, like, I like your hat. Yeah. She does. yeah, she just, I like she's your hat. She's such a horrible, you know, person. That, like, she's, you know, she's has the audacity to, you know, be nice to people. That yeah. Which. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I think the only, I think the only thing I really can say is the villain is probably the weakest part about the movie. Mm-hmm. I think, I think it's just the villain. He didn't really have a thought, but it was very surprised on who the villain is. But I guess though, if you're thinking about it though, it's just like, but that's true, and I do agree. It's almost as though the villain's not really the important part of the story. I mean, he's right. they're there, but it's like it's really you're watching Maleficent. And not even really her rise and fall. It's not much of a fall. No, you know? it's not. It's more like her rise and minor stumble, and then stands back up and be like, "All right, we're gonna go this route instead." Right. I mean, you know, but you never, you never think that she's what the she bad is. Guy. Thinking, you, hmm. Right. No, you never think of. And again, I bring up my whole feel bad for the villain kind of deal because they're evil. It's like yeah. Darth Vader. It is. You know, you still really like Darth Vader, even though he's evil. And right. He's, you know, he's he's awesome. Yeah. But in this case, it's you shouldn't feel bad for her at all for what she's doing. I no. mean, it's not, oh, she has just a tragic story. No, she got screwed. She did. You, you almost think it's going to go the whole tragic route. Like, you did. You do. The very beginning, you think, okay, I said this is going to go. You're going to go boo hoo hoo maleficent. And it's she's not. just going to go, you know, to the dark side, and you're going to sit there watching it. Go, okay. You know, but, but she, it doesn't. She doesn't. It doesn't. And the ending, like I said, is actually really surprising. Mm-hmm. And again, I, I kind of understand Disney's route now, and I will say, you know, their live action stuff is getting a lot better. It is. And I kind of understand that this is, you, you have to have this open mind of, granted, yes, Alice in Wonderland was not one of the best movies ever. Right. Neither was Oz Great and Powerful. Right. But at the same time, though, you get this feeling after watching this movie that Disney is really trying to build their own universe mm-hmm. of live action. Because you already got the mm-hmm. animated stuff. Oh, yeah. You already got their animated universe. Well, let's focus on the live action. Right. I mean, this movie, based on how this movie was, I'm looking forward to seeing Cinderella. And I'm looking forward to seeing Beast. Yes. And I never really have been a big Cinderella fan, but I I want to see this one based on this movie alone, how well they did with this one. Exactly. I've got high hopes now for the next one. And I do too. I mean, I can kind of see some people being, you know, upset with the way this one ends. Because there's no rape scene. Well, there's that. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's no reason no at all. But, I mean, it's, Read the original book. Yeah, it's so. unusual enough that I can some people, you know, screaming foul for a variety of stupid reasons. Sure, but it like makes perfect sense yeah, in, it, in the context. Yeah, it's, it's and her nothing side else would have worked. And nothing else would have worked in this sense either. Right, I mean, if you, are, if you went the entire Sleeping Beauty route, you knew what mm-hmm. was going to happen. Right. But in the end, you're just kind of like, well, what is exactly going to happen? It was like, kind of like in Frozen, you know, how you don't see... The sisters being the one that you know und- undoes all the, the problems of the curse in a sense. Right. You know, you think we're one of those two guys. Yeah. And it's not, it's, you it's, know, it's kind of like that. It's toward the left field, but the kind of like, oh, you could not do it the way. It makes right. sense. It, it does make sense. So in the end, though, like I said, just focus on the villain more. Mm-hmm. I think and just give a little bit more of an explanation because he didn't make sense. No. Let's just put that out there. He really didn't. It doesn't no. really matter how you justify it. He didn't make well, sense. Well, it also didn't make sense that he'd be so upset that, you know, um, his daughter's going to be in this curse put on her since he sends her away. And it's like, what do you really care? I mean, you've been a jerk all this time. And now you care. And, and you then care. he didn't. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. It's interesting, too, though, how he handles everything. It is. Like, it's just, he's just a jerk. Yeah. I mean, so, probably you could have been a psychologist to go even more detail about him. He's probably a fascinating character. But in the movie, you're going from the the entire time. It's like, I think what else happens to them? Let's see more of a journey. Exactly. Next. So, in the end, I'll give it a B. Mm-hmm. As much as there's only illogical things as a villain, 
that's I think that's my only real big complaint mm -hmm. about the movie. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. Angelina Jolie was great in her role. Yeah. Uh, I mean, literally. I mean, she was great. Oh yeah. The effects were brilliant. Everybody was perfectly set up, and the mm -hmm. story was really, really well done. Granted, it's not one of the strongest movies you've seen. No. I mean, it's definitely not award winning. No. I mean, may maybe maybe you can give her the role of best actress. Not give it to her, but right. nomination. Yeah. Wise for Oscar winning. She but did a really good job. She that. really did. Thank so you. I'm gonna give it a B. I think I'm gonna say a minus, only yeah. because I was not expecting it to be that good going right. into it. I mean, I wanted to see such curious. But it was sort of like, okay, this is going to be the, this is be my throwaway money for the year. And at least so far, it's been my surprise movie of this year. Well, that's know? the thing, though. Because I was not anticipating it being as good as it was. Right, and I agree. Well, you paid for my ticket anyway. I did. So, <laughs> I mean, I was just kind of like, man, if this movie is really bad, I'm going to feel really bad for, me, for having it. Because he bought my ticket and yeah. my popcorn. That was a good so. point, by the way. Order your food. Let me get a phone call right back and just run off. I was like, okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah, exactly. I'll next time. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> I, I order I, everything back. I want to order everything. I'll be right back, Chad. You take care of it. I apologize. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, well, I'm Chad. I'm Chris. And go see this movie. You'll like it.